We are now going to talk about DC motors, one of the most important inventions in history. And so how it works, simply you have a magnetic field created by a magnet. And so in this case, the magnetic field runs horizontally across like so. And inside you usually have something like a rectangular conducting coil. You pass a current through it and the coil will spin. And so the most important thing over here is you want to calculate the magnitude of the torque created by a current on this rectangular coil because that's the key uh, quantity over here which explains how this coil is going to turn. Uh, and so let's assume the current runs as shown, okay, and we've labelled the sides uh, A, B, C and D, okay. And so what's going to happen now, let us consider the current or rather the side A, B over here. Now using our Fleming's left hand rule, we can use our third finger to point downwards and our second finger to point to the right, okay, to represent the magnetic field. And notice that your thumb will point outwards. And so there is a force that is coming outwards over here on the side AB. And if we, re if we repeat this process for the side CD, the force will be going into the page. And so you can see if I look at this pivot over here, this coil will be turning like so in such a manner. Now, what I want to do now is to explain that FB over here, okay, this FB and this FB over here, they are the same, and they are both equal to B I times the side L. Let's call it, just, just call this L, okay? So L is the length of AB and BC. There is absolutely no need to perform any sine theta or cosine theta over here because this, both of these currents are traveling 90 degrees to the magnetic field. Okay. Now, let us now look at the top view of this thing. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to draw this from the top view. Okay. So what you're going to see is something like this. This is A, this is D. The magnetic field is going across in this manner. The pivot is over here. And we have the current coming out of D and going into A. And we have the forces as such, like so, FB. And of course, uh, oh, yes, yes, that's right. And of course, another force FB is here. And so you can see the torque being created. And for convenience sake, let the length of AD be X. Now, what we want to do now is to calculate the torque. And so we remember that when we calculate the torque, we need something called the perpendicular distance to the pivot. Or rather, we can calculate the torque of a couple. And so what we need is this length over here. And this length, if we are given this theta over here, will simply be the length of AD, which is X. And so that will be X cosine theta. And so if I multiply FB by X cosine theta, I will get the magnitude of the torque on this coil. So torque equals to FB times X cosine theta. But we have seen that FB is BIL, and so that will be B I L X cosine theta. And now finally, suppose this turn, or rather this coil ABCT, has N turns. And so each turn creates a torque like this. And so the total torque, T tau total, will simply be N B I L X cosine theta. I can combine L and X to be the area of the coil, and therefore we get the nice formula NBIA cosine theta. Bear in mind that theta has to be the correct theta, and so always remember that theta is bounded by this line over here that is parallel to the magnetic field, and of course the length AD.